Hi there. Um, my name is Nick Butlin. Um, I'm CTO of Ev Energy. I've been involved in uh, growing and building and starting uh, technology businesses in the energy space for, for over a decade since I left aerospace. Um, and would you believe it, despite all that effort, there are lots of problems that still exist. There are huge challenges in energy uh, as we decarbonize, as we bring about a new era of clean transport. And the prices of energy are, are rising as we build new infrastructure, as we run renewables, as we build battery storage, uh, and we build these things in distributed places, and we're creating this incredibly complex system. And there are lots of different players in it. Um, and uh, you know, National Grid and, and, and other system operators are working really hard to build new ways of making the system flexible and clean and helping us reduce those costs, which is great if you're one of the bigger players. Um, and, you know, but if you're one of the smaller players, if you're one of the smaller, uh, sorry, commercial businesses, you're buying energy, you're kind of getting left behind. You're, you're paying for this expensive infrastructure and you're not getting the opportunity to take part in these, um, these very valuable programs that allow you to cut your energy costs. So it's been great to, to, to be working with these, these super smart guys, um, Lee and Vijay and the rest of the team, who have uh, some incredible technology and they've built an, a, a brilliant understanding of both the, uh, uh, the customer side, so those, those small businesses, the energy managers, the facilities managers, uh, the butchers, who just need to understand how they can cut their costs. And at the same time, the complexity of a system where you've got all of these different players creating new programs um, and, and you know, building this understanding and bringing it together. And they, they've really learned a lot, they've really grown a lot, and um, I think they've, they've come to a really compelling, very simple, uh, AI-driven service, um, which is which is absolutely fantastic when it comes to customer adoption, um, and um, I think what they're doing is amazing. So please join me in welcoming VJ from Q Energy. Hi everyone, I'm VJ, co-founder of Q Energy. Imagine yourself as the building manager of a large building like the Science Museum you're in. As well as worry about the comfort and the security of the tenants in the building, you're also responsible for reducing the carbon emissions while keeping your overheads down. Every year, you feel more and more annoyed to see your energy bill go up. You'll be paying 45,000 pounds more on a 100,000 pounds bill by 2020. This is happening because only 41% of your energy bill is made up of actual energy costs. The rest of it is made up of various charges based on when you use the energy and government levies to keep the network in balance. This includes running diesel generator plants during peak times. With more renewables and electric vehicles being connected to the system without smarter energy management, these charges are predicted to go up. And don't expect your energy supplier to help. Why would they? Because their current model is based on selling you more kilowatt hours of energy. This is why we created Q Energy. Instead of buying your energy in advance, with Q Energy, we offer energy as a service, which means you pay for what you use. We deliver a cheaper energy bill, reduce your carbon emissions, while improving the efficiency of your building. We do this in four simple steps. You can go onto our website, upload your energy bill, and get a code sent to your email. Then you can click on a link and subscribe to our service. Next, we connect your building to our system so that the data starts flowing. And last, now you can start to see the savings on your bill. Let's explore our technology. We start from the building, so we deploy a smart box in the building, this enables us to connect with the smart meters, building management systems, and other assets like battery storage. By collecting the data, we are able to build an artificial intelligence-based energy model of the building. With this, we are able to make decisions and then send control signals back to the building to optimize the assets. This is not just for one building. It's about managing a network of buildings. So with our Q Energy platform, we connect 
with the energy markets and the grid to get the data. So once we receive the notifications, we are able to minimize the energy use when the costs are high, maximize when the costs are low. When the grid reaches its peak, we are able to turn down the energy demand automatically, thereby generating revenues from the market. In the UK alone, we are looking at a market size of 375 million pounds per year, and this is set to increase. We are looking at tapping into an unt uh, untapped SME market, small and medium-sized business customers, 124,000 of them in the UK, looking to reach 2,000 customers in the next four years. Our business model is quite simple. We charge a fixed fee to the customer while we deal with the charges to the supplier. We optimize the energy, thereby delivering savings for the site and provide services back to the markets, generating revenues. We make our income by taking a percentage of this. We are glad to announce that our system is now live. We are working with one of the largest property companies in the north of England. We've also been selected as part of an Innovate UK project to develop a local energy market here in the London South Bank and also the Mayor of London's Flex London program. Here's a snapshot of our dashboard. Customers are able to manage their buildings. They can see their savings while we send them rewards and notifications. We are one of the first to bring out energy as a service as an offering through a scalable platform. Demand-side response and energy efficiency technologies are currently viable only for high energy users. But by bringing this together with the energy supply contract, we are able to cater to a huge opportunity in the market. Dr. Li Yao and myself, we have worked together before building a successful IoT solutions analytics company in Manchester. We are also supported by a talented team of designers, data scientists, and developers. We are looking to demonstrate the scalability of our system by connecting with 200 sites in the next 18 months. For this, we need to streamline our deployment, ramp up our sales and marketing efforts, and continue with the product development. We need 500,000 pounds of seed investment to make this happen. Every one of us here have a part to play if you are going to reach the carbon reduction targets as a country. Join us on this journey as we build a smart, flexible energy system for the future. Thank you.